92004 also began its career at Ebbo Junction in 1954 and subsequently worked at Southall, Barrow Road, Banbury and Carlisle Kingmore before being withdrawn from Carnforth in March 1968. With a working life of just over 14 years, this turned out to be the longest working 9F in BR service. Apart from different tenders to suit the areas they first worked, the early 9Fs had few detailed differences. All were built with single chimneys, until development work saw the change to double chimneys on locomotives after 1957. Evening Star was a Swindon built locomotive through and through, and spent its brief working career entirely on the western region, including two short but separate periods allocated to Bath Green Park during the summers of 1962 and 1963. This brought the Celebrity Locomotive to the Celebrity Railway, and the Somerset and Dorset saw the 9F employed on 12 Coach Express passenger trains including the legendary Pines Express. Evening Star was initially allocated to Cardiff Canton. It then moved to Old Oak Common and Oxford in 1962. But it was withdrawn from Cardiff East Dock in March 1965, a working career of just five years for a building cost of £33,497. Swindon 9Fs cost some £5,000 more than the crew built examples. Cardiff Canton was one of the very few western region sheds where the 9Fs were welcomed by ex-Great Western engine men. On June 27, 1960, Evening Star was waiting to take over a Portsmouth train when the Britannia rostered for that evening's Red Dragon Express to Paddington failed. Driver Broom probably reluctantly agreed to take the 9F. The 13 coaches weighed 450 tonnes, but the 9F simply flew. No speedometer was fitted, but Driver Broom reckoned he ran at speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. Now, at that speed, maths tells us that these wheels and rods were whirling round at more than eight times every second. And the really great thing is that on that job, the engine burned less coal than either a Great Western Castle or a BR Britannia would have been expected to burn. Now that's what I call class. It's particularly ironic that all the surviving 9Fs have ended up as passenger locomotives, largely confined to short, stopping branch line workers. Nowadays, 9Fs are still regularly in steam on our principal preserve railways. 92240 on the Bluebell line is one of the few crew built locomotives to survive. It was built in 1958 and was withdrawn from Southall in 1965 and sent to Woodham Scrapyard at Barry, where it spent 13 years rusting away. The steam retreated from the Western in 1965. So the useful 9Fs were transferred to ex-Western sheds now on the London Midland region, such as Banbury and Tisley. In turn, as steam withdrew from these areas and from the eastern and northeastern regions, so it became clear that the 9Fs last stand will be here in the northwest of England. I rang up BR and said, can I buy two steam engines, Green Knight and Black Prince? I knew nothing about steam engines, as I've said, but I did have the sense to say to the guy in BR, look, I want a good one, I don't want a junk one, because there were about 100 of the 9Fs still running when I bought Black Prince in 1967. And uh, they said, well, you're lucky, because 92203, which I then named Black Prince, uh, has just had a heavy overhaul, and we'll throw away for a scrap in six months anyway, so why don't you buy her? £3,000 scrap value. And I couldn't believe it. When I put the phone down, of course, I broke out into a, a, a terrified sweat of fear as to what I'd taken on. By the mid-1960s, the new corporate image-conscious BR was very keen to be totally rid of anything that was seen to be old-fashioned, 
and they certainly were not going to tolerate dirty old steam engines reappearing on their tracks, even in private ownership. <laughs> 